So a good question came up today about how to track an Articulate Storyline course when it's nonlinear and you really want to base the learner's completion on whether they reached a particular slide in your course. So, you know, it's not about the score that they attained or the number of slides that they viewed. It's really about whether they were able to reach a very specific slide in your content. So here's one way that you can do that. Let's say that this slide here happens to be the one that we want to use as that critical slide that indicates whether the learner completed the course or not. And what I've done is just inserted a single button here on my slide. And unbeknownst to the learner, I've actually turned this slide into a free form pick one question that we're going to use for tracking purposes. And even though it doesn't look like a quiz question, um, it's helpful to use a slide as a quiz question like this when you want to track in this way. So what you can do to convert your slide into a pick one question, after you insert a button like this, you can come up to the Insert tab and you'll find a button on the toolbar here called Convert to Freeform. Mine's called Remove Freeform because I've already converted this slide to Freeform, but yours will say Convert to Freeform and you can click that button. That's going to open up a question editor that looks something like this. And here's where you indicate the choices that you would like the learner to have in a pick one question, which in this case is really just that button that you inserted on your slide. So that's why we've only got one choice here. A couple other things you'll want to do on this question editor is you'll want to turn the feedback to none since we don't need to display any quiz feedback here and also turn the scoring to none since this, you know, there's no score here. It doesn't really matter um, about points or scoring or anything. So we'll hit save and close and that part's done. Now a couple other things that I did here. When you create a freeform pick one question, Storyline is going to create a built-in trigger that usually says submit this interaction when the user clicks the submit button, but we want this to happen when the learner clicks our button instead. So I modified this trigger. We'll just double click to open it. So now it says submit the interaction, this pick one interaction, when the user clicks not the submit button, but the button that we created, button one, which in my case is called continue. And then since we're not using the built-in submit button on the player, down here in the player properties, I clicked this gear icon and I just turned off the submit button because that would be confusing and redundant to have that on the player. And then one more trigger I added to our button that we created is I have this uh, jumping to uh, the next slide, which is actually a result slide, even though it doesn't look like one, um, when the learner clicks the button. So clicking the button not only you know registers this as being completed, but it's going to also jump them to this slide right, right here, which is my result slide. And you can see it doesn't really look like a result slide. It can be whatever wrap-up information you want to show the learner. So to create a result slide, what I did was come up to the Insert tab, choose New Slide, select quizzing over here at the left and then result slides up here at the top and I use the survey result slide and when you insert that you're going to end up with a window that looks like this and you'll want to make sure to include that pick one question as the thing that you're reporting on and then for options I turned everything off here I just didn't want it to look like a result slide at all in fact when you insert a result slide you'll get a few things here that you might not want you can see that I had these things on here that I hid because I really didn't need those so I just turned off their visibility in the um, slide timeline so there's our result slide there's our you know critical slide that we're tracking on and now when we went when we go to publish when I went to publish I, on the publish window um, depending on whether you're publishing to articulate online or an LMS the choices here are going to be very similar so for tracking, um, I clicked on the option here and just made sure that I'm tracking using the quiz result on that result slide that we created. And then up here for reporting, I'm choosing completed or incomplete as the reporting status. So then what happens is when the learner takes your course and they get to that slide, it ends up reporting um, something like this. You can see here I uh, went ahead and just took it myself after I uploaded it to Articulate Online and it's showing my status as completed because in my case when I published I did reach that particular slide in the course that was required. So um, that's a little bit about how to um, mark a course as complete in your learning management system or Articulate Online. Um, if you don't have a linear course or you don't want to track by score or by number of slides viewed.